this is Michelle Marie McGrath. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about the fire element, one of the elements that we work consciously with in the internal medicine wheel within the practice of womb awakening. Now as you know the elements are really the building blocks of creation and when we work very consciously with them we can affect change quite quickly and dramatically when we have a huge shift of the energy in that space. It can be quite remarkable when we have certain realizations about energies that we may be storing or holding onto. So the fire element is really the fuel for our passion, our creativity, our lust for life, our desire. And it's also the source of our anger, frustration, resentment, and other inflammatory emotions that we often repress or su suppress, especially if we judge them as bad or negative. You know, when in actual fact, they are just divine messengers like anything else. They're just extreme emotion. But they're often the potential source of immense transformation. So if you are wondering whether you have an imbalance at all or you need to give your fire element some attention, you can consider, do you feel creatively blocked? Do you have a low libido? Do you feel angry or resentful or frustration regularly? And is this triggered easily within you? You know, are you somebody who has a short fuse and sometimes you're not really sure where that's come from or you may feel that you are quite fiery and overreact to things, you know, where we sometimes have those experiences where we completely flip our lid over something and think, wow, you know, where did that come from? That was a bit over the top. So sometimes it can be because we've got repressed blockages um, due to old experiences that are just simmering under the surface. So it's also good to explore issues of power and control, particularly where we can look back, say, at past sexual experiences as well that we may not have completely resolved. So it's good to explore past relationships that we may still be holding on to. We may still have anger about certain situations. We may not have fully forgiven that experience, whether it's ourselves and how we've behaved or whether it's towards a previous partner. There may be other situations in our life where we feel that we're being manipulated, where we feel powerless. And so that can create simmering emotion under the surface that's being stored. And, you know, if you look at the right hand side of the body, so the fire element connects in very much with the right ovary, the right testes. But also if you consider when you look at the Chinese health system where we store unexpressed anger in the liver for example you've also got things like resentment that can be stored in the gallbladder again all on the right hand side of the body it's also connects in with the masculine energy that right hand side of the body so you can explore things to do with your father and the men in your life father line you know, your father's ancestors, anything there. Is there anything that's unexpressed and you feel that you're still storing that? So as women, we often store a lot of unexpressed emotion and stagnant feelings in the hips as well. So even if you can, you're not sure, but you feel that there's a blockage of some kind, you can simply dance that out. You can do exercise where you are really releasing that energy on a physical level, whether it's yoga or swimming or running or something like that, where you're really moving your legs and hips. So obviously with dance, that's something that you can do quite simply at home yourself without it actually costing you anything. And I do have a free fire 
playlist on Spotify that you can listen to, see if there's anything there that you resonate with. And then the more that you can release any of this old stagnant energy, the more you can reclaim this internal fire and channel that into your passions and into your creativity so that you can be fully present and fully connected to your fire in the positive, in the present. And so this is particularly important if you're looking to create something, say you're embarking on a new job, a new career, starting your own business, a new romantic relationship, where you wanna be fully present and not being pulled back constantly into old patterns from the past. You can really work with that spark of desire to create whatever it is you want to just energize yourself it might be to start any kind of new pattern or behavior that's very life enhancing for you and so if you'd like to explore this on a personal level more deeply you can contact me for a womb awakening session and yeah just feel free to email me for any more information about that so I hope that's been helpful for you today